the cloud. Okay, welcome everybody to our fifth uh, public webinar. Uh, so we get to share updates with uh, all of you guys um, so we can show some highlights of what the team have been working on, uh, what our focuses are at the moment, and we'll also do a bit of show and tell. So I'll show you around some of those updates as well and take a look at some of the new e-commerce things as well. Um, and then also tonight, I should probably dive in. There you go. So there's the first two. And I'm just going to mute you guys while we crack on. Mute. And Russell, yeah, lovely. Um, so yes, also going to be looking at the e-commerce module. And then finally, we're going to be uh, joined by the Wizzy guys um, who are launching Site Gurus. So they're here to tell us all about it and all the amazing things that they've been doing over there. So first off is a little list. So I'll step out of this and actually show you some of them as well. Um, but we'll just give you a taste of what, uh, what the team have been up to over the past month if you haven't seen them. So not long after our last webinar, um, the team released BC blog module um, migration tools. So this is where you're able to take an actual BC blog um, module from a BC site and using BC exporter, you can import the whole folder along with the tags and the different grouping that you've got over there straight into web apps, which is awesome and saves everybody a lot of time. Uh, so next up is, oh, sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on, there we go. Web app module import updates. So um, also this month, we've been doing a few enhancements to this, particularly around some of the larger import scales and things like that. So if you're importing tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of web app items, it's now much more reliable. It will give you more meaningful errors. Um, and it's just generally easier to, to manage there. I'll show a little bit of that as well, because we also have a new page for being able to view a history of your imports and any error messages or success messages that you get. And the next one is uh, custom field sets in the UI. So rather than needing to do this using the CLI or um, CSVs, that kind of thing, you can now edit the CSV, uh, sorry, you can now edit the CS CFS data straight in the admin. And you can also um, delete it from users now as well. So you can do it straight in there, point and click. We'll have a look at that shortly. And then we have site usage metrics and infrastructure. So this is what I'm going to show uh, in just a moment. Uh, so we have a whole new subscriptions page. And this week, so sort of over the next few days, the team are turning on the, um, the systems that go behind that to automate it and make life easier as well. So we'll, we'll have a look at, at that one. And I think there's one more. Yeah, there we go. E-commerce subscription enhancements. So this one's actually gone out, I believe, earlier today. Um, so I'll show you where in the UI you can find it. And I'll also show you some of the fantastic and very thorough docs that uh, one of the guys have put together uh, for this. And um, while I'm having a look around the other e-commerce elements a little bit later. So. Oh, I've just closed chat, but never mind. Uh, uh, yes, sorry, and we do have one more. See, packed, uh, packed full. So we have a slight enhancement to the, uh, the form builder, particularly around the autoresponder and workflow area. So rather than needing to remember the idea of the fields to put it in and call the data, et cetera, which is a little bit of a faff, um, we've added a drop down right in there. So I'll show you guys where that's at as well in just a moment. So. I think the first one I'm going to take a look at is usage and metrics, things I've got it open. So some of you will have seen this, some of you won't have, um, but on any of your sites, you now have a new subscription tab. Uh, so if the site's not live, it looks a little bit like this. So while you're building the site out, you can see how much usage you're using um, and you can also go live from here as well. So we can see um, all of the metrics there that are on the site plans. And below, we can see a breakdown of the database objects. So you can see exactly where you're using them and explain the value to your client or manage the data better. So if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see this is just a test site. Um, so there's quite small amounts of data, but you can see a breakdown of those. So you can see in the CMS, where are all the objects, CRM, um, e-commerce, uh, et cetera. So if I have a live site, this is just an example you can see that you get it on both sides and it will suggest which plan you might want to go up to. Uh, so it will show you the next plan up 
uh, from there and very soon uh, you'll be able to click upgrade site. I believe you guys don't see this just yet. So in the next few days you will, and you'll be able to start managing your own subscriptions ahead of time rather than allowing it to go over and then be pushed automatically to the next one. You can do it in advance. And again, below here, you can see a full breakdown of usage. So this site has a little bit more in there. Um, this is an actual life site. I've just wiped the name um, for, for data. So down here, you can see the CRM and also uh, the number of cases they get coming into a site. And this, this will adapt and change. So some, uh, some great updates there. So this means that not only will you be able to see the usage, track that and manage which plan you're on, you'll also be able to see, as you could before, a full um, invoice history. And you'll also be able to control your card details. So you get full um, control and access to manage your own billing rather than needing, needing to put requests into our team uh, for, for everything you want to do there. So that's great. Good stuff. So next one we're going to look at is, I'll show you the form builder one um, while we're here and then we'll move on. So let's have a quick look. There we go. So over in forms, uh, I've just got a few small forms here, but let's go into one anyway. If I edit this form, as promised, in the autoresponder and workflow areas, if I move the cameras out of the way, can I do that? Yep, that'll do. You can see if I scroll down, we now have a new insert field drop down. So this works much in the same way as it does in code editor for things like web app layouts, module layouts. It will automatically find the fields that you have in a form and allow you to output them uh, right in here. So now you don't need to remember the IDs, it will just give you it like this. So you can much more quickly edit and manage and set up um, autoresponders, but also the workflow uh, emails as well. So nice little update there, quality of life improvements. There we go. So let's head back here. And we'll skip through a few. There we go. I will circle back around to like the custom field sets um, a little later when we go over e-commerce, which I'll go through later as well. So next we'll go through uh, just briefly through our top 10 feature priorities. Um, and we'll update you on sort of where we're at with each of them, um, just in case uh, you're not familiar. So e-commerce phase two, uh, that's partially been, been worked on. We've got a few more things to come, mainly around import and export control, so CSV things uh, for products, um, uh, orders, and things like that. Secure zones phase two, so this hasn't been done just yet, um, but this will allow you to put things like web app items into secure zones and, uh, and so on. Then we have uh, CRM user segments. I believe this is underway, um, but uh, this is gonna be where rather than having mailing lists and it being sort of pigeonholed to sending an email, you'll be able to just create generic lists of your CRM users, which can then be used uh, with the API or Zapier um, and then pushed out to various different platforms. So it will make managing of that much easier. Um, BC blog module. So we've covered that one. That one's done. Tick. So um, if you want to check that out, you can head over um, to the new imports uh, page in, in any site admin. Uh, but I'll show you that later as well. Public API and Zapier phase two. So as you will all know, that one's done. Um, we showed off quite a lot of examples in our last webinar. So if you haven't seen it, go check that one out. Next is e-commerce subscriptions phase two. So technically that is, uh, has also been released today. So um, I will show you some of the new pages there. I, I don't have a full working example because it's brand new, hot off the press, um, but I'll show you where you can get started in some of the docs there. Uh, user roles phase one. Uh, so that's uh, user roles in a portal, uh, controlling what the clients can and can't see, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's to come. Uh, billing phase two, so this is sort of partially done, but we're going to be working on improvements here in terms of you being able to manage um, your, you know, different uh, sort of subscription elements uh, from portal. Then we have staging to production. I really need to move zoom. Sorry. There we go. Um, so staging to production is underway. I have seen an example of it. Um, so I believe tomorrow the team are going to be carrying out a migration, an automatic migration of any stage uh, existing non-live sites. So all of those sites are going to get shifted over to a staging um, version. 
um, which for you guys, you won't really notice anything different. Nothing will change um, except for the URL. So it'll change from having production in the URL to having staging. So it's uh, quite a, a, an important update and one that we're going to do a lot more with uh, as time goes on as well. But it will mean that you'll then only, you'll build everything on staging and when you're ready to go live, you'll publish to a production URL. And finally, site usage and upgrades. So I've already shown you guys that one. That's done as well. Um, so there are our updates. Okay, so I'm going to show a brief overview of e-commerce and I'll also show you where those new subscription areas are. Um, so we'll head into it. I, I'm gonna do a bit of a recap for those partners maybe who are newer or um, haven't seen us go through this kind of thing before. So everybody else can just bear with me. Um, so of course, one of the main uh, points of e-commerce are products. And you can, do, uh, you can create fully customized products uh, with their own SK, uh, SKUs, um, attributes, catalogs for grouping, uh, and much more. I'll show you in a moment. We also have disc discount codes, which you can set up with their own custom values. So you can fit them into any of your external, um, maybe um, inventory control softwares or um, payment gateways, things like that. You can also control how long they're available for. So you could just say they're available all the time or for a limited time. You can have fixed value percentage instead um, and so on. So I'll again show more of this in a moment. And then finally transactions. So there are now multiple different ways that you can have a transaction on an e-commerce website, including a basic payment form. So a one-off, I'm just gonna make a donation, for example. You can have a one-off uh, payment uh, transaction for buying products. So I'll take a look at that in a moment as well. And you can also now set up subscriptions and you can control the duration of those, um, sorry, not the duration, the, um, the frequency. So whether it's annual, monthly, how, how often this recurs uh, and things like that. So we'll take a look at all of that right now. Let's move Zoom out of the way again. Okay, so uh, I'm sure many of you have seen this before. This is just uh, a basic starter site. So when you create a site which i had not pre-planned if i head over here bear with me because i'm loading a lot of sites there we go so when we create a new site let's do for site glide there we go we can choose to include include this starter site so everything that you see um during this this presentation you can include for yourself here which means you can have a play and not have to build from scratch um each time so where should we go first? Let's go into products and, uh, and so on. So I have, uh, as I've said, this starter site here. Now it comes with some products already. So if I go over to the shop page, you'll see that we have some predefined in here for you. And if we head over to our site and go to e-commerce and products, yeah, that's fine. So you'll see all of these products listed in here. Now, inside a product, you can define all of the, the usual things that you would expect, such as the name, the URL, um, release date, expiry date, and so on. Uh, but we can also define a description to give it more information, give it an image, and the product SKU. So that's what I was talking about earlier. So this is just a, a text field. So effectively, you can put any uh, SKU in that you would like to. And then, of course, we have the, uh, the tabs for SEO, uh, which is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, but in attributes here, you'll see that it's pretty blank. So this is because you can build these out to almost anything that you want to, to put in here. Um, so you can add uh, the name. So I might, shall I add one? Uh, no, because I'm not going to change all the layouts. It's fine. But we can add uh, attributes here, and then we can add options. So what, um, what are the different options that we'd like to see when somebody selects a drop down, such as different jean sizes or shirt sizes. And we can go from there. Um, so sticking with products, let's finish this off. Uh, we also have inventory control over here. So for some, if you're doing online ticket sales, for example, or particularly at the moment, if you're doing virtual webinars, um, this is less relevant. And you may prefer to just not set a quantity um, so that they don't sell out. If I, Let's see what we've got set up on here, shall we? So if I go to sitting grid album and I come into it and I'm just going to change the, um, the available quantity down. And what we should find is that, ooh, yes, because I've added an attribute. Uh, can I remove, no, 
Okay. Let's just put an option in. It's fine. Price is free. Why not? Okay. So now we can see that this is automatically changed to sold out. So nobody can actually select one. And it'll also work if it's, they've already added it to the cart. So you have inventory control over there. And we also have custom field sets. So these are the same custom field sets that we will see anywhere else on, a, on the site. So you can add custom field sets, for example, to CRM users to build out big databases or incre uh, increase the registration form for an online area and things like that. If I come down to here, we can see, what am I doing? Custom field sets, there we go. So I've got a couple set up by default already in here. Um, let's just shift these out the way. There we go. Uh, so if I create a new one, I can give it a name. So my CFS. And this behaves much like web apps. So you pretty much get all of the same field types. And you can pull in information from other, other areas. Uh, I could just do a string for now. So um, I don't know, location, something like that. And we could say it's required. And you can have as many of these as you'd like. And then once I save this, I can apply it to my product. So that means you can add lots more uh, varying variations and extra information for a product to make it fully bespoke. So it means you're not always limited to different versions of a product. You can just add multiple layers of, of uh, customization, including images. So some of you will have noticed over in products, we'll not skip across to, to orders. In the actual product, we have one image slot. But if you wanted to add multiple images for maybe a little carousel in there or light box kind of feature, that was how you can do that. Um, Okie dokie. So I'll go on to, I was going to go into discount codes, but I'll just briefly explain currencies as well. So if you want to change the currency, uh, usually the default will be uh, GBP, but you can come in and you can switch it to the currency of your choice. So if I switch to US dollars, for example, we should then see that automatically update on our sites Ooh, or NAN, because I think I've got payment gateway set up, but it doesn't quite match. <laughs> so let's just switch it back before I break absolutely everything. Wonderful. Okie dokie. So speaking of payment gateways, um, if we come in here, you'll see that you can, by default, they have, there are none because we don't know which account you've got set up. And then you can come in and you can pick currently from two. So you've got authorized.net or Stripe. Um, so we'll require you to have an account with them set up before you start doing this because it'll need you, need you to put in some API keys uh, and things like that their documentation show how you can, where you can find that in, in their uh, UIs. Okay, okay, so discount codes, the fun part. Everybody loves a discount. So if I come in here, um, I can create a new one. Let's do, I'm feeling generous. Let's do 50%, 50 offer, there we go. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we can set a release date and expiry date. So if you wanted to plan ahead, you could have several discount codes for different seasons of the year, perhaps. You can limit the time using these two fields so that when it's uh, either before or after that time, it no longer is applicable. Um, so again, in here, you can have your custom code. So you can literally set this to whatever you would like um, so that it can match and integrate with systems elsewhere. And then you can switch it. So at the moment, it's a fixed value. So you could say, if somebody spends a minimum of $25, I want um, the discount value to be $5. There we go. And in addition, we could also limit it. So if it's a limited time offer, maybe there's only 100 available, I can put it in there. And a little bit like we saw earlier with the product um, inventory control, once the um, number of uses has gone above that value, it will no longer be um, applicable for the user. So let me hit save. Oh, I need a code. Uh, summer 15. That'll do. Excellent. So um, 
Alrighty, what have we got next before I uh, move on? Oh yes, subscriptions. I suppose you're all waiting to see, see some more about subscriptions. So, some of you will have noticed that we have two new areas in here. So we have subscriptions where I can create a new one. I don't have a Stripe um, payment gateway set up yet. And you can also then see a subscription orders. So a little bit like product orders um, has before now, you'll be able to come in and see um, who and when and all of the other details of these subscriptions on your site. So I will dive into here because the development team have done an excellent job of, uh, what are we doing, e-commerce? Providing extremely thorough documentation on release of this feature today. So if I scroll down and we go past the developing with e-commerce, we can see subscriptions in here. So Matt's written a whole bunch. So take your pick. I would suggest starting with um, the overview and he'll explain how you can get started. And he'll also go through some of the options that are available to you, such as, um, let's go down slightly. Setting up payment, go settings, creating subscription products. So he'll go through everything from start to finish. So how you can create a subscription, what the controls are, how you can control the different layouts for subscriptions and so on. So we'll link everybody to these um, after the webinar or maybe towards the end and you can go in here and have a look, but he goes step by step through how you can set up and customize subscriptions on your site. Um, okay. Have I missed anything? Nope, that's pretty much it. So I will dive back in and I think next, we're just gonna take a look at some of the things that the team are working on next um, before we go and head over to uh, site gurus. So let's go. Okay, so focus is next. So obviously we've all seen the, uh, the top 10 list. However, um, some of the next focuses are the UX and UI improvements. Uh, so we've spoken to some of you about this one already through, through emails and so on. Um, however, um, we have recently hired a new UX UI designer and also developer to help support him. So they're going to be doing a lot of planning and uh, then implementation of user flow uh, experiences. So creating a site, for example, we're going to make that that easier. There'll be lots of different areas where they make improvements there, but also a revamp of the UI in general, because uh, it's been a, a little while since we've, we've looked at that. So next will be file manager enhancements. Uh, so at the moment, if you, I'm sure you're all aware, so I won't show you, we have the four, the four files, uh, sorry, the four folders in, in the UI. So images, CSS, documents and JavaScript, I think it is. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, is gonna, we're gonna move up the folder level, so, or down, depending which way you wanna go, to the assets folder. So that means if you have a requirement of putting assets on uh, the, the root, um, you'll then you'll now be able to see that and control it within File Manager. Uh, the other thing is obviously File Manager uh, functionality, such as being able to rename, move things around, um, etc. So there's some uh, some really nice ones to look forward to in there. Um, next is CRM companies. So being able to as you would expect, create a company, but also group users by that company, um, which is gonna be really handy for some of those online portal sites. So if somebody in one company makes a new post or a new product, it would be nice if somebody else in their company was able to edit and manage it as well. So that's that. Web app geolocation fields. So popular one for this, I think. Um, so much similar to how we sort of seen on the events module, um, with some geolocation uh, functionality there, we're going to bring in the geolocation functionality to web apps as well. And finally, e-commerce database improvements. So some of the things we looked at just a short while ago um, in terms of using custom field sets, etc., tend to uh, bloat some of the site usage. Um, now that we're improving all of those systems and the usage and tracking, this is what we found. So the team are going to be um, updating existing sites and new sites to have a slightly more flattened database. Um, so it won't have any, any material impact on the site, but it will have an impact in terms of usage. So it's a good one to, for you guys to be aware of um, moving forwards. I think that's it.
There we go. So, uh, Russell, are you ready? Putting you on the spot? Yep, I'm yep. ready. Okay, so next we are going to hear from uh, the wizard team, namely Russell, who um, are going to be talking us through their, uh, their new launch of Site Gurus. So here's a pretty picture of their website. Um, so they're going to be taking us through some of the uh, features that they're going to be and services that they're going to be offering, including marketplace for uh, site imports, customization modules, etc. That wasn't a click. Next is Support Center. So they're also going to be looking at um, supporting other partners with development features, bug fixes, etc. And Guru Academy. I will say no more. Uh, over to you, Russell. Would you like me to stop sharing? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I'll just say hello yeah. briefly. So yeah, hello, um, I am Russell, uh, if you don't know me. Uh, I am the sales manager at Wizzy and Site Gurus. So um, yeah, thanks very much, Martin, for giving us the opportunity to introduce um, Site Gurus to the um, executive uh, team. Um, and I will just share my screen now so you can see the website that we've been working on. So okay, everyone see that? Good. Um, okay, so yep. when, um, let's just hide my. Um... So yeah, we've been uh, been working on on this for a short while now, and uh, now ready to sort of uh, carry out a pre-launch. Um, so Site Gurus uh, offers and provides dev support to scale your agency. So essentially, we're here to save you time, reduce your costs, uh, which will enable you to deliver more projects and ultimately increase your profitability. So um, basically, uh, who are site guys, uh, site gurus? We are, it's developed by Wizzy UK Agency and we're 100% dedicated to helping digital agencies around the world, such as yourself with web development. Um, we're leveraging our experience on SiteGlide, Platform OS, and previously Adobe Business, Business Catalyst, obviously. Uh, and we're, we're set up to essentially help you with things you can't do or perhaps that you don't want to do or things that would probably be more cost, of, cost efficient and cost effective for you to outsource. Um, and we are 100% focused on uh, the architecture of Platform OS and Cyclide, obviously, which we believe is the most powerful, scalable, reliable, flexible and secure architecture out there. And site gurus, we're experts in those in those platforms and that architecture. So we're very much able to um, be relied on to to assist with all the various um, fixed price services, modules, and supports that we offer. So this is the way that we're sort of structured. We're offering a number of fixed price services, as I say, modules and support. And so, for example, an offering of a fixed price service, we're we're using the site import functionality of uh, site glide to offer website import so we can take your existing site from any platform uh, use the CLI tool from site glide and bring this in to site uh, site glide and then various options to actually provide a report on that or, or fix the site we're also offering uh, site glide customization services so using existing modules and customizing them to fit your projects and we're also having the pipeline and um, design system build so actually developing out sites in SiteGlide design system, potentially bringing over your existing sites and converting them into design system sort of based code, more modular, more modern approach. And um, we're also building off the shelf apps. So things like um, online courses, marketplaces, communities, um, that, that sort of thing, sort of um, advert managers, for example, advanced search, things that you can perhaps um, <clears throat> you know, benefit from and, and, and develop yourselves or, or put in place on your, on your sites. Um, and we're also building out uh, modules um, which can be slotted in essentially to the existing site glide architecture um, to save you time and money. And we're, we're currently developing out a wide range of uh, different various different modules. And um, one of our primary offerings is the support service we offer. So we're offering troubleshooting services via uh, the, the dashboard itself, which I'll cover very shortly. Um, bug fixing and project discovery where we can actually pick a particular project of yours which you may be um, struggling with or something you've got, got from a client you're not quite sure how to do and we can help you out with that and um, take that through to a full brief and then help you work on it. 
Um, so site gurus is, is structured around a membership system and a credit system. So a uh, membership system gives you a variety of options uh, to, to access certain aspects of the site and different pricing structures with a variety of different levels. It's something we're currently working on at the moment and expect that to be available perhaps in the next month or so, but don't quote me on that, um, but that's coming soon. And uh, the credit system I'll go through in a bit more detail when we come to the dashboard itself. So obviously we're working with agencies globally around the world, as I say, such as, your, such as yourselves, uh, to really help you, you know, get the most out of the, the platform OS and, and SiteGlide um, architecture using our sort of un unique mix of the module support and services. Um, so there's a number of different questions that you can have a look, some frequently asked questions which you can refer to on the, on the site yourself. Um, and probably the best thing to do now is for me to just show you what you can actually do. So as I say, we're actually at a pre-launch phase and now if, if you'd like, you can actually come to the site, so sitegurus.io and you can actually join the pre-launch. And what you obviously need to do is uh, sign up with your first name, last name, email address, your agency name, your agency URL and a password. I've done this already. So um, I'm gonna log in. And here we are with the Site Gurus dashboard. So as I explained uh, briefly, um, it's based around a membership system, which is coming soon at the moment. So you'd pick your membership level and you'd then use the credits you've purchased as part of that membership level at the, at the, at the rate it, you've set that they've been set up by your membership uh, to use them on the various services which are, are covered below and I'll go into in a little bit more detail here. And then you can actually top up your, your credits um, with this top up feature here. Uh, so for example, you'll see here I've got 109 credits and I can click top up here and then I can buy additional credits. So 10 credits would be $75, so that's $7.50 $7 for uh, one credit, I believe. And the more, the more you buy, the cheaper they get per, on a per unit basis, so per credit. So you'll get the move of $6 there and down to $5 per credit there, the more you buy. Um, and essentially you click on buy to add additional credits and you're taken through to a payment system, uh, payments powered by, by Stripe. So I won't go through that at the moment because I've got 109 credits to use, which is great. Um, and uh, yeah, by, by actually um, registering on the site for the pre-launch, um, you'll actually receive 10 free credits that you can use straight away on any of the um, services, modules or support features that we've got available at the moment. So just going through the dashboard in a bit more detail, we've got Marketplace here, which covers uh, fixed price services. So as I said, website imports, customizations, um, setups and various things, which I'll go through shortly. Uh, modules uh, and custom apps, which is coming soon. And then we've got the support center down here covering troubleshooting, bug fixing and project discovery, which I covered briefly. And then Guru Academy, um, which is a, a free section. So you'll get completely, you'll get full access to everything you can see here by signing up. Um, but obviously you'll start with uh, 10 credits, um, but the code snippets, the tutorials and tools and resources will be totally freely accessible to you. Um, code snippets, for example, uh, are snippets of code that you can help, that you can, that will help you um, build you know, great sites basically. And they're all um, gonna be available via this section here. Uh, just have to remove bits of video from Zoom. Um, so for example, at the moment we've got uh, one um, one snippet available, which is form, Im form image upload. So you'll be able to click through to this and you'll be provided with all the instructions as to how to set that up in your, in your, in your site. So the HTML is there, you can click down to the JavaScript there and it's completely free to just copy and paste in as you would. And we'll be building up this library over time and you know if you'd like to submit anything to it for evaluation you'll, you'd be welcome to do i'm sure um, but we'll be building that up as a resource to for you to go to and find uh, great features to use um, so touching quickly on some of the other freely available items that um, will be available as they as they're developed by us we'll be producing tutorials and, and videos on how to most effectively use cyclide and we'll also be producing some tools and resources to help you sell cyclide itself and platform OS to your um, your clients, so you can you know just, uh, mention the benefits of the, of the platform, uh, tackle any any block blockers you might have with particular clients, and we'll be building out that section to to help you. 
So to cover the main sections, we'll go to the uh, navigation at the top here. So as you can see, we're in the dashboard at the moment. And if I click on mar Marketplace, that will take us just through to the three particular sections I've mentioned already. So we're going to fixed price services. Um, a fixed price services are pretty much what they say they are. They are services at a fixed price. So you can come in and you can use some of your credits, however many credits you've got available, determined by the product itself, to make a purchase of these um, these particular uh, products and services. So, for example, the, the two we've got available at the moment are website import and website import with a report. So, as I mentioned, this is a straight import of any site into SiteGlide using the uh, website import tool CLI tool um, it's not a perfect tool it doesn't it doesn't um, purport to be a perfect tool so we've actually offered a another another product here where you can actually get a report so we'll go through and highlight all the the major issues with the with the migration that's uh, you know sort of broken links or pages not quite working correctly or a dynamic bit of content here or there that's not working and we'll actually produce a report for you to actually be able to go and fix those things yourself um, so yeah, you can click through to each of these particular products to, to learn more and um, you can provide some details about a particular site you're looking to, to import where you'd like it to go. The instance, um, in future, we, you'll be able to click one, so you'll be actually, actually create one directly in here, linking to your site site uh, admin area and be able to create one here that we can uh, link to when we're doing the, the import. You click buy now and then that those credits would come off your account and we'd start the process of the uh, import with you. Um, with the report, obviously the same process applies, a bit more detail on the, um, the product offering itself, what the report will cover. And obviously the same thing, you would put, the, put some info in and that just puts you in touch with us and uh, all your credits would be used accordingly. So we've got other products in the pipeline. So we've got an actual, an import uh, product with the report and fit all the fixes that are required potentially up to the point of go live. Um, we're looking at options for um, blog setup, um, web app migration, so actually migrating the structure of web apps and content into SiteGlide, uh, setup of e-commerce, so setting up sort of basic e-commerce functionality for you, um, events setup, installing the events module and getting that set up for you, and then converting static sites to, to web apps. So, you know, taking content perhaps from a website import and converting it into web apps in a way that's easily usable and sort of future proof going forwards. So there's a number of fixed price services there, as I say, and you can start using these straight away. Um, obviously this one's available straight away for, with your 10 free credits, or you can top up with a few more and uh, get started on the, the report version. So I'll just go back to Marketplace um, and cover the module. So at the moment, I believe we have one uh, module coming soon, which is an alert banner. We're also looking to develop out more. So for example, others we've got in the pipeline are perhaps SEO export, uh, sitemap, carousels, that sort of things. And you'll be able to purchase those uh, through the section here and we'll be adding to these uh, in the coming days and, and weeks. Um, so there's a number of options for you to, to build out your site glide sites in a very cost effective and uh, um, easy to achieve way. And we're also going to be developing some custom apps as I've touched on briefly, um, that's coming soon. So you'll be able to put, to, put together custom applications in, in no time really. Um, so moving on to the support center, which I've touched on briefly. So uh, we've got a number of ways of providing support to you again via the credit system. You can um, use one credit and we'll help you out with some with some troubleshooting. So, for example, you just ask us a question. We'll help you solve it, but we're not going to touch your your code or your site. So it's really just a you know a troubleshooting service. But you, you click on here and you can put the, the title of your the particular troubleshooting inquiry into there, the URL of your site, a bit more information on it and how, how complex you think it is, click buy now, and then that will go into our, um, our project management tool and we'll be able to assist you. Same with bug fixing, um, we can actually jump in and, and fix, the, fix the problem for you if you've got a particular issue on a site that you can't fix. Um, just come in here, so I'll just give you an example. Um, um, issue on the website, it's got a spelling mistake in it. And this would, you put your website URL in here, for example, and then you click buy now. 
and what actually happens is your that goes into our project um, management software and then you'll actually be able to communicate directly with a member of our support team via the the dashboard itself so you've got your details on the particular issue you've raised the status of the the issue so this is currently open so i've just um just put that in there and then i can put a comment in there type something there oops click send oh here we go and josh has sent me a message before i've even said anything to him so isn't that great so uh, yeah and then we then basically we can chat uh, directly with you in here on the particular issue um that you're that you've raised and fix the issue for you uh, you will see that i've got a couple one open that i've just created here this one is is planned and as you'll see they, as they progress it will move to in progress and then closed when the particular issue is resolved uh, so that's bug fixing there again that's one credit troubleshooting is one credit there um discovery is uh, coming soon but essentially you'll be able to uh, get in touch with us with as I say a particular brief that you may be having difficulty on you're not quite sure whether it's achievable on site glide and platform OS um, and and perhaps it's putting you off saying yes to the client and putting a proposal together you can get in touch with us we can map out the project um, in terms of how it's set up on um, on site glide and um, we can build your confidence basically in it so you so you'll be able to confidently go back to your client and say yes to that project and then we can either help you out with the project itself or support you through the other support services we're we're offering uh, so i think that's the support center we've also got available at all times um live chat via intercom uh, which is a sort of general su general support assistance um you know with the, with the the module the, the dashboard itself and the site itself um freely available to, to, to use as required um, and then as I've touched on we've got the Guru Academy up here as well um, so I think that's pretty much covered everything so what I would um, advise is that you can obviously go to the website straight away now and you can join the pre-launch and you'll get 10 free credits to spend in the portal as you wish and you can start chatting with us start putting sites our way um, and start making use of, of the site gurus uh, service um, so if anyone's got any any questions um, then feel free to, to put them to us and we can um, do our best to, to answer them right away excellent thanks Russell exciting so if anyone has any questions just drop them in the chat and we'll uh, we'll ask Russell uh, and I think he's got a couple of his maybe one of his team members here with him so mm -hmm. do do let us know um, meanwhile so I've got a couple of questions just to clarify a few bits, Russell. If I'm um, a site by partner and I've got a project that I've been thinking about taking on and I've done the full brief and scope myself, um, however, it's got some complex filtering or searching of, uh, of products or even web app items, uh, would I be able to come to you guys and have you only do that part of the site and we can do all of the rest? Yes, absolutely. So in that particular example, um, we would map out uh, the, your particular requirements for the, the, the aspects of the site you needed assistance with. We would give you, be able to give you an estimate on how long we thought that would take in terms of credits. And then the credit system it works in such a way that you uh, purchase those credits in advance. And then uh, we, we, we carry out the work for you. Um, based on that, those, those credits basically. So once you've bought credits, they 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 don't expire. So you can, um, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. So it's a good good plan if you if you do have sort of regular requirements such as that, bespoke functionality, um, to build up a you know a reasonable amount of credits and to to use towards um projects such such as that. Awesome, good stuff. Just one thing to add to that, um, Martin and Russell. Uh, credits don't expire. Um, that would be uh, nice news for everybody. So if you were to buy, to take advantage of the discount, if you were to buy a, a larger block of credits, you can use any proportion of that number of credits for one job with one client. And then another client comes along and asks for some uh, special functionality that you don't particularly want to do. You want to throw that over to us. 
um, and your credits are still there, but they never expire. So you really should be able to see um, what we can provide as your dev support partner. Um, I think the beauty of this is that as an agency owner, manager, you can get on and run your business, you can expand your business, you can take on more jobs than you would otherwise be able to do, knowing that you've got a partner at your side that is a single platform partner. We only build on SiteGlide and POS. We do not work on any other platforms. We've been there, we've seen them all, we know all the limitations, and that's why uh, Wizzy as an agency, um, which I founded, co-founded uh, 11 years ago, uh, is totally 100% dedicated to site guide. We, we will not, um, just to make the point, if you come to us and say, can we fix a security issue on WordPress for you? The answer will be politely, no, I'm sorry, we can't. Uh, but if it's a, if it's a site guide um, the site, we'd be very, very pleased to help. We'll happily import your WordPress site into site guide for you. Absolutely. And make it much, more, much faster and much more secure. Yeah. Mr. De Paz has got, Monsieur De Paz has got one left on WordPress and he can't wait to get rid of it. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Thanks very much, guys. So, no questions immediately. I think that's because you guys have made this so simple that there's, uh, there's no need to ask questions. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, excellent. So it's looking, looking really good. Um, yeah, so perhaps one just final thing to touch on when will it officially be launched we're obviously pre-launch but the uh, the launch itself is, is gradually phased as we uh, roll out further products and services in as i say the coming days and weeks uh, the best thing to do really is, is register and um, you'll get all the latest updates on uh, modules services fixed price services and uh, support offerings as they uh, as they become available Excellent. And um, yeah, so I'll quickly show you. So we'll share the links for, for these guys um, in the recording email that we, and, and so on that we send out. But if you would like and you can't find that email later, you can also find SiteGuru's link on our partners page on our website. So you, there's a button on there that will take you straight through to their website. So uh, there's a couple of ways to get in touch with them there. Excellent. Thanks. Uh, thanks very much for for coming and uh, I mean, you know, I know your team have put a lot of lot of work into to getting this up and running, so you can help uh, help other partners in the community. So it's uh, really awesome to to see that happen. Yeah, and it would be great to get um, your feedback on on it as as uh, once you've signed up. If you'd like to sign up, um, give us your feedback. Any any feedback is really useful because it will help us develop site gurus, and, and by developing site gurus, gurus, you'll be you'll be helping your own agency basically. Um, so yeah, any feedback would be um, very gratefully received yeah and um so what if um just as a side question if i where do i get in touch with you if i want to find out if you're up for building a module or if you're planning to build a module or anything like that do i use the intercom or do i email how do we, how do we do uh, well you can you can get in touch with us via uh the intercom and that's probably the best best way to get and we'll direct you to the, the appropriate person to uh, to speak to we can uh, we can escalate your support request or your your query to to the relevant relevant parties cool excellent uh, just to say uh, um, russell said uh, i think it was martin actually that said we put this together very quickly it is a work in progress it's really worth keep checking back um because you will see um the items that have got the little green tab across the top they are live items but there are more coming uh, but those that have got the little um, sort of gray uh, strip across the top um, if you keep checking back you'll see that those are going green uh, there'll be a lot more being added to this um, we have a whole load of modules in, in in qc they have to go through qc obviously we're not going to just uh, put them live uh, on the site until they've been thoroughly tested uh, we are a gold star um, cyclo partner, so everything we do is um, obviously with with their uh, full blessing, and it has to um, work um, exclusively, uh, flawlessly on uh, Cyclide. So do check back, um, and you'll get the measure of um, the speed of progression. 
Um, there'll be lots of requests coming in from agency partners and that enables us to build up uh, libraries of common types of work, um, which we can then uh, start pushing through on the site. Absolutely. And so the modules that um, site gurus do will be in a way certified or, you know, checked by the site glide team as well, because um, as I'm sure you, some of you will have heard, we're going to be building out and presenting a marketplace within site glide. So that will be where people like uh, site gurus can submit modules. So all of the modules that they're listing on their site will be plugged into that. Um, which means they're all verified. They're all going to work with the with the modules and continue to be to be updated. So um, there's no kind of concern there if um, perhaps they keep it out of date or something like that. And the same will be said for anyone else too. Loving site gurus. Excellent. <laughs> all right. Thanks all right. very much. Well, I think that will bring us to, to the end. So unless anybody has any other questions about site gurus or any of the updates we've shown tonight, it was a bit more of a list presentation from me. Um, we will leave it, uh, we'll leave the recording there. Okay, okay, I will stop the recording.